creepers, jeepers, creepers. <coughs> I'm dying. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Stream. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot to change the name. Uh, I'll get that later. Stream starting. Now, playing a visual novel. Whoops. Whoopsies. Um, all right. So let me get this joint ski together. Um, need to edit. Not PNG dupe. That yeah, PNG tuber. O2 stream. <clears throat> Please, uh, God, what's the fucking name? When the cicadas cry? When the cicadas. Yep. Horror War game. Yo, Beans, how are you? Sorry, I can't see your message right now. I'm kind of changing the title for a minute. Play this horror game. Uh,. When the cicadas cry, it's kind of like blocking the the thing, my thing. Ugh, God, yes, yeah, I've been a little sick. Tar game horror, not visual novel, slash visual novel. I don't know. Uh, slash visual nouvelle. Um. All right, get rid of these tags. How, uh, I hope you've been having a good Friday. At least better than mine. Um, horror. Then novel. Reading. Very, I don't know if it's... So from what I've seen, I don't really see much, but from what I remember back in my good old days... I don't remember being that scared, just, you know, a little messed up. Alright. Mm. Alright. We should be good now. Ooh, alright. Give us some time to get some people in here. Give it, like, maybe 10 more minutes. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I'm in low on the weather. My, uh, my heater does oh shit sorry my <laughs> i just realized my mic was up while i was talking hopefully you could hear everything i was saying but anyway like i was saying um my heater had to go on twitch to search you because no discord link oh yeah shit i forgot about that sorry i've been on a shitty tear uh let me get this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. All right. The link should be up. Me found me now, but. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right. Give me a few more minutes to uh, round up people in here. Yeah, but. Sorry, I've been I've been meaning to do this earlier, but. Uh, life. <laughs> Got to go to work. Um. Back's been killing me a little bit. Construction. I'm breathing in dust from this construction I'm at. Uh, there's that. Um, my heater doesn't work. So I'm kind of wearing um, a hoodie, a cotton shirt, and a nut shirt underneath. It's not cold now, but I got a space heater to, um, to at least hold me over till the uh, heater for the whole house gets fixed. Which is... Probably gonna be a nightmare in a soft butt. Mm. So I know Beans played the game. I wonder if you played the game, Scrow. Kind of uh you know, kind of curious. Uh, I'll get myself together. Uh, uh, okay. My motion check. Gotcha. Um bada boom. Put up steam. Oh, sheesh. All right. Uh, all right. What do you guys think? Should we start now? 
she wait a few more minutes. Kind of want to give it like maybe two to five more minutes, you know. Oh shit! Is my headset not working? Um, fuck. The heating and generator broke my house last year. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Looking at OBS. Yeah, sorry. I thought my um microphone was going through my laptop, which I thought you, could, you guys couldn't hear me. Sorry, a little out of it. Have a bit of cold. <laughs> sorry. The heating and generator broke my house last year during a blackout. No feeling. Stay strong. Man, I'm trying. I am trying really hard. I mean, I'll be okay, though. So, you know. No worries. Um, yeah, how have you guys been? Getting any good OC plays, playing any good games? Life treating you all right? Uh, shit. Yeah, for me, life's been life's been good. It's just you know, it's been a, a bit much, but excited to play the game. I've been seeing clips of it on, not clips, but, uh, well, yeah, clips, but I've seen it, like, years and years ago. The clips itself, not the actual game, so I really don't know what it is. All I know is that, um, there's a green-haired girl who kind of goes crazy, and time travel may be involved, but other than that, I mean, I don't even know. I did get a pass on Midnight Sun, which I've been trying to do for a long time. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, how many stars? Ugh. Ugh. Got my ish. Ugh. Oh, gosh. Osh be gosh. Mm. For tomorrow is a fine if I said and relax plays. Yeah, go for it, man. <clears throat> do what you gotta do. I mean, if it's a replay, I'll uh, look into it. I'll judge it, critique it, give you the uh, the old slapperoonie. I'll be like Simon Cowell in uh, X Factor, give it the golden buzzer art or uh, the X. No, I won't be that harsh, but you get the deal, yo. Six by five, but it's tech finger control pauses. All right, so it's technically eight stars. Because everyone knows tech is, you know. Although superior is the hardest skill. Hey, Light, what's up? How art thou? Yeah, just kind of um, getting some people in here. I think we should be good to start. Doing well, how about you? Uh, been better. I've, uh, I was just telling these guys, um, my heater doesn't work, so... Tomorrow, there's going to be a guy to come to uh, look at it. But right now, I'm kind of like wearing a hoodie, a cotton shirt, and uh, another shirt beneath that. I like cotton pajamas. I have a bit of a cold. Uh, but it's Friday, so can't complain too much. Ugh. All right. All right, I'm excited. So, Higurashi, when they cry. Chapter one, Oni Kakushi. All right, ready, guys? I'm excited. I don't think it's going to be a scary game, but I do know it's going to be a disturbing one, but I don't think it's going to be like jump scare scary. But if you, uh, maybe I'll be in for a surprise. Need to get around to reading here, Garashi again. I didn't know Higurashi was such like a well-known anime. When I was watching clips of it when I was a kid, um, I figured it was like some niche anime. Like I just kind of found like one of those um, this one of those in the wall hole um media's. But I seems like everyone here knows about it. It's not horror scary, it's terror scary. All right. Looking forward to it. Ugh. All right, chapter one. Hopefully it's in, okay, it's in English. 
All right. Let's go. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, it's like a small window. Okay. Uh, how about this? Um. Hmm. Because I want you guys to see it too, like better. I'm gonna add a source. Quick, quick. Uh, OBS tutorial. Add a source. Window capture. Uh, Higurashi. Uh, there we go. And then go back. And then get rid of this. Um, but 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 where is the screen itself? Screen capture. And then boop like that. All right, should be good. At least for you guys. For me, it's all window, but it's it's whatever. I don't mind. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Seventh expansion, Manga Gamer. Expansion presents, welcome to Hinamizawa. Star, continue, config, exits. All right. Okay. Mm. Press F for full screen, if I recall. Uh, shit, I have a... Hold on. Try this. I have Linux, so things are a bit more complicated. Uh, hit an F. Hitting function F and hitting F. Maybe control F. God, how do I do... If you ever played ROG Unlimination on Osu, it's from the sister game to Higurashi. This doesn't sound familiar, but... I'll take word for it. I, mean, I might have played it. Oh, hold on. Linux, window, full screen. Uh... Press, hold down the super key or press Alt F10. Okay, let me try this. Uh, all right, whatever. All right, I might just have to play in the window for now. <laughs> I can get invested. Please do not lament. I will forgive you even if the world will not forgive you. Please do not lament. I will forgive you even if you will not forgive the world. So please tell me, what will it take for you to forgive me? Give you even if the world will not forgive you. All right. All right. This is a work of fiction. And it resembles sex with persons. I don't know. 1983. 58th year of the Shiwa era. <clears throat> if I was going to be ripped apart anyways, having my body ripped apart would have been better. I trusted her. No, I still trust her. Even in this very moment, I trust her. <clears throat> but I'm starting to realize I only wanted to trust her because I refused to accept the truth. I said this I was trying to convince myself in such a silly sobbing voice and those tears. Those tears making a mess of oh. that mechanical, repetitious sound finally stilled and everything fell silent. Only the cry of the cicadas remained, annoyingly loud. And yet I felt as if I could still hear her voice. But that's not possible. She is no longer speaking. No one crying is me. She never cried. Even when she repeated those words over and over, she never expressed any emotion because there was none to show. If she had no tears to shed for me, then I shouldn't need to shed any for her. Then why? This pain, my eyes getting moist, 
Why was this happening? I still wanted to believe I hadn't been split apart. That's enough, right? Inside me, an inner voice whispered gently. My spirit had suffered enough. And countless times I wavered over whether I should just throw the battered thing away. <laughs> Except I've stubbornly refused to do that, haven't I? I'd feel better if I just threw it away. Even knowing that I chose to believe, didn't I? Only I can understand that painful struggle and appreciate it. Hey, me. I've tried more than enough. I'll acknowledge that much. So, isn't it all right to just take the easy way out? <laughs> Besides, I'm not throwing it away. I'm leaving it behind with her. Like flowers by a grave. Now then, calm your nerves. Even though you can't feel your right arm, just lift it up. And with every swing, forget a little more. That kindness made me happy. That adorable smile brought me joy. I liked petting your head. I loved how demure you were. Because this will be the last time. Because when I swing this down, I forget. This is my... First and last, okay for you. Sheesh. Have you right from the jump. Perhaps I really did. Love you. Higurashi, when they cry. Chapter 1. Seventh expansion. Somebody has been apologizing for a while now. Oh, um, if it's too loud, let me know. Or uh, as far as like audio goes. Uh, let's do a quick save. Oh, let me actually go into menu to see if I can configure this into uh, full screen. Actually, hold on. Yep, full screen. Perfect. Oh, shit. Too big now. Too big. Uh, hold on. Let me do this, then uh, do that. Should be better. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Then maybe do this again. Ah. Uh, sorry, technical difficulties. All right. This is a little bit better. At least for me, anyway. Should be. Yeah, the full screen wasn't really too uh, good for me. Uh, screen capture. All right, cool. All right. Should be good now. Somebody has been apologizing for a while now. I wonder what she's apologizing for. It felt wrong to eavesdrop, so I tried to ignore it. It had been a while since I last went to the city. I only returned to attend the funeral of a relative. Even though I'd lived there until last month. I found the bustle of the city to be overwhelming. Those skyscrapers and the multi-lane roads. The melodious cacophony of the crosswalk. Even the campaign speeches blaring in front of the station felt nostalgic. <clears throat> the place where I live now isn't nearly as lively. There's only the chirping of locusts. And the babbling of brooks. And the cry of the Higarashi, the evening cicadas. Rather than making me feel lonely, the quietness has begun to instill a sense of serenity. 
there is nothing where I'm living now. I don't just mean there aren't any burger joints. There aren't even vending machines. No music stores, no restaurants, and no arcades. <clears throat> even an ice cream parlor would be unlikely. Thanks, more. Mm. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Your nearest town has some stuff like that. <clears throat> but it's an hour away by bike. But come to think of it, it wasn't really a big deal. There were music stores and arcades and ice cream parlors, but it wasn't like I ever hung out at any of them. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I had a bit of mucus. I had lived in the city for 10 years and never once been to an ice cream parlor. Should have gone at least once. It's only now that I'm starting to regret that a little. Somebody is still apologizing. Who is she apologizing to? She apologized so much, so just forgive her already. There's no reason anyone should ever need to apologize so much. I started to feel a bit annoyed at whoever was accusing to forgive her. <clears throat> no matter how bad the mistake, there's nothing that can't be forgiven. I mean, no. Uh, I can think of a few things. There's no such thing as an irreparable mistake. You just need to be more careful next time. <clears throat> She's still apologizing, even now. Then, has she really done something that can't be fixed? <clears throat> I have no idea what she's done. But if it can't be fixed, then that's all the more reason to forgive her. No matter how much she apologizes, nothing will change. <clears throat> but even so... She keeps apologizing in such a heartbreaking voice. Hey, you. The one she's apologizing to. Why don't you just go ahead and forgive her? She's apologizing in such a pathetic voice. <clears throat> Kichi, we're almost there. Wake up. I was finally roused from my nap by my father's prodding. It seemed the train had reached its final stop. Alright. We spent hours riding everything from the bullet train to the local routes. It was hard to believe that the landscape beyond the window in a city I was in half a day ago were in the same country. No, that they were even from the same era. <clears throat> From there, we take a car deeper into the mountains. Jeez, this feels unsettling already. Like, not just like narration, but like, even the artwork has a really uncanny feel about it. Past where the dense forest encroaching on the mountain road suddenly opened up. There, where I live now. Hinamizawa. Sorry, the Japanese names I'm not, uh, I'm not particularly best at. <clears throat> Urashi, when they cry. Alright. So this is probably where they have, like, the commercial break. <clears throat> At least an original show. That's just a... Just a guess. Not trying to interrupt this, but now it's Keiichi. Yeah, no worries, man. So it's Keiichi. Okay, Keiichi. Gotcha. I probably forget, but... <laughs> At least I'll have your notes. 
I'm probably uh, at point. I'm probably gonna miss. <laughs> I'm probably gonna mispronounce a lot of things. But uh, you know, it's all part of the fun or the the scary fun, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right, back into it. Even though we were approaching summer, the morning air still had a frigid bite. Although, in exchange, you could fill your lungs up with crisp, clean air. Flipping open the window, I was greeted with a verdant expanse. Nothing but trees. The neighboring house was far away on the other side. So, I was probably the only one enjoying that view and that air. I filled my lungs with another deep breath. Since I started living in Hanamizawa, I learned that even air had its own taste. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> kind of switched tone. Okay. I quickly finished getting ready for school and headed downstairs for breakfast. Here's where a slice of life comes in. The mother was the only one there. My father was nowhere to be seen. He's probably up working until the early morning. Oh, Dad. Dad had a rather unconventional job as a painter. Interesting. It's such a ladyback profession. Well, uh, depends what you mean by painter. If you're talking about like art paint, sure, maybe. If you're talking about like a painter painter, those guys get down, man. This, I don't know, throw that in there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Not sure why. Get up when you want, sleep when. Okay, so he's talking about art painter, and work when you want. I was so jealous of that easygoing lifestyle. I even wrote for school that I wanted to be a painter when I grew up. Dad was ecstatic about that. It was just because it looked easy. I'd never tell him that though. Mom laid breakfast out on the table. Seaweed, pickled vegetables, raw egg grilled salmon my mom was such a good cook it was scary it's just the only scary thing here a perfect immaculate ideal breakfast unlike my dad who didn't even know the meaning of the word schedule my mom never squandered any time or effort she hummed a little tune as she brought over the miso soup it seemed like she was in a good mood today <clears throat> I'm so happy you moved back. I'm so happy you've been waking up early since you moved here, Keiichi. If I don't wake up early, I won't have time to eat breakfast. I thought I was being cute, responding with a wise crack after being praised for being good. Will a bowl of rice or will half be enough? Pile it on, baby. First, I savored the steamy hot rice with seaweed. After that, I covered it with the egg. Between bites of rice, I enjoyed the crunch of pickles. God, thank God I ate before this. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Excellent, as usual. Watching me clean my plate, Mom gave me a warm smile. I'm so happy you haven't skipped breakfast ever since you moved here, Keiichi. I was not a morning person when we lived in the city. I slept right until the last minute before school and rarely ate breakfast. Boycotting the breakfast mom made me each morning, that was probably the only way I could protest being forced to attend craft school. I guess that was what you call my rebellious phase. Some, some phase, I guess. I wouldn't look, uh, I wouldn't so much as look at the breakfast she woke up early every day to make. If I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. Hmm. Let me plug my nose real quick. <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh. God, if I wasn't sick, this would be like the perfect night, Friday night. Uh, mindful of the time. Mom rushed me along with a wide grin. Isn't it about time to meet up with Reina chan Hurry, hurry. 
Mom really seemed to enjoy the fact that her son was going to school with a girl. <laughs> I guess it's probably Japan. It's probably, um, probably went to an all boys school. Reina is one of my classmates. She really loves looking after people. Come to meet me every day without fail. That's nice of her. <clears throat> the way I looked at it, I got my way. Eh, a guy my age walking to school with a girl was just lame. Huh? Uh, okay. But well, keeping a classmate waiting for me every day wouldn't be very considerate. Alright, probably elementary school. This is a, a, a guess. Seriously though, how long does Reyna wait there for me every morning? Taking one last cup of miso soup. I raced for the door. Please thank Raina Chan for the pickles. Come to think of it, those pickles weren't store brought, were they? If I'd known that, I would have savored them a bit more. Mm morning. All right. <clears throat> Okay, cool. So we got our first anime girl. Okay. Chan Kun. I have no idea why I said it like that. Uh, K Chan Kun. Good morning. Her cheerful greeting was as fresh as the morning herself. You're always so early. You should try to sleep again sometime. If I sleep in, I'll keep you waiting. She's so con sen conscientious and such a good person. If that ever happens, I'll just leave you behind. Okay, Chan-kun, you're so cold. <laughs> I'll wait for you all the time. I'll leave you in the dust. Yep, better fucking catch up. Without looking back. Amen, brother. Why are you so mean? Why? Raina Chan had a slight troubled look on her face. Toying with her was rather fun because of how quickly her mood changed. I'm kidding. I'll wait for you. With those words, Raina seemed to relax. Her face flushed bright red. Uh, th th thank you. I'd wait forever until you came, Raina. No matter how long. <clears throat> uh for forever Rina turned bright red steam rising from her head as her brain short circuited she's especially weak to this sort of talk it's quite rare to find someone this fun to tease have you ever read a romance novel Rena? huh uh, I haven't. N never read any before. In that response, I gather she was interested in them, but was too embarrassed to actually buy one. <clears throat> I couldn't imagine what would happen if she did read one. She'd probably turn red and pass out. Oh yeah, message from Nam. She says thanks for the pickles. It was nothing. You're welcome. How were they? Not too salty? They weren't that salty. Actually, they had a pretty light flavor to them. Would have been fine to just be honest and say they were good. But apparently I couldn't be that forthright. I'd like to ask something before that. Were you the one who pickled them, Reyna? Or was it with your mom? Huh? Why do you ask? Were... Were they too salty? Her attitude completely changed as she began to panic fr frantically. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry if I'm rude to with my... Nose blowing. Just trying to keep a somewhat clear voice. Nope. Why are you asking you made them? Why? Depending on who made them, my opinion of them might change drastically. 
It is a bit of a dick. <laughs> I mean, it's playful, but. <laughs> she counted Franklin on her fingers, trying to remember the amount of salt she used to pickle them. It wasn't like I was trying to tease her, but I couldn't stop myself. Yeah, she is. she's pretty fun to tease. Guys who take pleasure in this kind of thing are probably the worst. Guys like me. Oh, well, yeah. Rena nervously opened and closed her mouth over and over, trying to muster a response. Yeah, it was me. Delicious. Huh? Pretty good. Just like the last ones. They went perfectly with the rice. Her face went bright red again. She was completely spacing out. It was truly was a lot of fun to tease her. I prayed that Raina, Raina never gets taken advantage of by some lowlife. Uh, sounds like some foreshadowing there. Keep at it, Raina. I'll train you until you handle, like, handle it like the average person. Or so I decided for myself. Good for you, dude. Let's go. If we keep me own waiting, we'll never hear the end of it. Seeing that she just keeps spacing out otherwise, I called Raina back to reality so we can make our way to school. The strange, easily flustered girl is Raina. Ryugu. Reina Ryugu. I've only known her for about a month. But I've come to realize it's not just her name that's strange. <clears throat> Mi chan, good morning. Coming up to the next rendezvous point. We saw another person waiting for us. <laughs> Noticing us, she waved. Ah, finally, finally. You two are late. Usually you're your one who's late. In sharp contrast to the diligent Reina, this one marched to the beat of her own drum. She's Mion Sunuzaki. Rei Yugu is probably an easy way to say it. <clears throat> I'll take a word for it. It is easier to so I'm just gonna say that. For what it's worth, she's our senior and head of the class. Morning, Reyna. It's been a while, Kei-chan. How many years? I was only all two days, man. The fuck? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you don't say. You were so much cuter back then. Mion's gaze started at my chest and dropped straight down, focusing on the point between my legs. Oh, she's a, she's a bit of a bit of a freak, man. Just saying, she was saying it was my crush that was cuter back then. Oh boy, uh, that's a no-no zone. Before you ask, just to be clear, I've never actually tried to show it to her. I've grown up quite splendidly. You'd be surprised. Are, are, we still t are we talking about my height here, or are we talking about still on the same topic here? What are we, what are, what's going on? <laughs> Not only is he bigger, but he has a little mustache now. Being so engorged with energy every morning is quite the problem, though. Yeah, these words are... <laughs> <coughs> Getting a smoker cough and shit. <clears throat> Still bored with it. <sighs> shit. I'll introduce you next time, so be sure to greet him properly. Don't say next time. Right now is just fine. How about letting the little guy get a breath of fresh morning air? I don't think I've ever heard talk so dirty you could smell it fouling up the morning air before. You're going along with it, man. Mion sure does act like an old man sometimes. Gotcha. 
Time for the big reveal. I hope you don't regret it. As my hand reached for my fly, Raina began to ramble in a near panic. Hey, 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 what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Very placed and flustered. Raina tried to play dumb, but it was obvious she knew exactly what we were talking about. How was it seeing the city again? Oh. Thought, uh, thought there was a bit of a time gap there. Thought something else was going on. Shit. Alright. <clears throat> Me on switch gears. Dropping the dirty talk and changing the topic to something more befitting the pleasant morning. Only went for a funeral. I didn't have much time. So yeah, he did look for it. That thing I asked for. Not listening. At all. I just came back from a funeral. I didn't have any time to look around in toy stores. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Toy stores and hobby shops are completely different, you know. It's really difficult to get Western stuff around here, you know. Is this about games again, Michan? Mion nodded proudly as Reina giggled. Yep. I wanted K Chan to bring with to bring me back a Westport catalog, you see. Westport was short for Western Imported Games. Gotcha. Using that abbreviation did make it sound pretty geeky. You can just get them to send you one in the mail, can't you? Well, guess I have to now. I'm going to get another game full of hot action. Only the hottest of action. Th this time, I'd like a game that's easy to understand. Mion is a board and card game enthusiast. And here she's collected quite a lot of different ones. According to Rina. According to Rina, she's sick as fuck. No. According to Rina, Mia's room has, has kind of become a museum for domestic and foreign games. If there's a game you think I understand, let me play too. <laughs> of course. Heard of Osu? Oh, okay. <laughs> if Keichan is up for it, I should warn you though, we're pretty tough. Just what I want. I wonder what ranks these girls would be. I think she'd be like a six digit, she'd probably be like a four digit player. Protagonist, she'd probably be around her rank too. Just, you know. Throwing it out there. I don't intend to lose. Whoa. Then we'll let you in the group this time, I guess. I guess. Whistling with joy from head to toe, Reyna looked back and forth between me and Mion. Mion gave her an affirmative wink, and her expression perked up even further. I thought boys preferred playing outside more, so I figured you wouldn't want to. Reyna laughed happily. No, we'll say I can follow, but we'll say I wish they had um dialogue attacks so I could tell like who's saying what. Like Rana said, Mion said, but I mean I could follow up pretty easily. <laughs> From such a friendly conversation, you wouldn't think I'd have moved here less than a month ago. I understood that they did all they could to make a transfer student like me feel at home. By the way, if it wasn't obvious, this was released in the early 2000s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I kind of figured. This has the uh, early, some really early vibes to it. Not quite Sailor Moon resolution, but you know, it's still has that stereotypical um, art style. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it though. I just kind of enjoy it. Nice little, uh, it's a nice little throwback. I'll have to try harder to fit in, so they won't feel like they have to try to make me feel welcome. I felt like if I had acted a bit more open than I usually am, it should probably be about right for this place.
Hinamizawa was a really small village. Not only was there one school, but there was only one class. That class encompasses all different grades and ages. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds, I'm gonna grab some more water and another tissue box. I will be right back. Stay sharp. <laughs> Shite. I have returned. Got my water. Got a whole brand new box of tissues. Oh, should be Gucci. Um, I want to have like a cap. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, where are we? Inamazawa was a very small village. One school, one class. That class encompasses all different grades and ages. All right, it's all back. There was about 30 students at different levels, and they all study in the same class. I'm told that long ago, there used to be a bigger school building and they had actual separate classes. However, it seems something happened that made it become a single class, and now it stayed that way out of tradition. I was shocked at first, but humans adapt pretty quickly. I've already gotten quite used to it. The sound of children playing started right from the morning. <laughs> With such a lively mood, I felt more like a kindergarten than a proper school. Not that that was a bad thing. Mion, who had been walking in front of us, up until then suddenly let me take the lead. That's nice of her. Right in front of the classroom door. So, I was meant to slide the door open and enter the room first. Heh. <laughs> Too bad. Wasn't going to fall for that again. To think you'd give up the lead here. Why the music stop? You meant for this to be a test of my skills. Mion chuckled with a haughty smirk on her face. Ho 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 ho! What, what is it, you guys? Step back, Reyna. It's dangerous. She's here. Huh? Then. So Sakuchan is... Her name was Satu Hojo. 
she was a disrespectful, impudent, bossy kid. The way she talks was annoying, but it was being mature to get worked up over just that. Okay, so it's not like Persona. The real problem was this. Quite the obvious trap. A blackboard, a blackboard eraser wedged in a door. It's too obvious, Satoko. A haughty laugh came from behind the door. Excellent, Kei-chan. I guess that means you win this round. No, this is Satoko we're talking about. I doubt this is it. After falling for such intricate traps since the day I transferred, I no longer let my guard down. Satsuko liked to combine a variety of traps. Traps that were simply there to bait you into the main ones. Traps. Traps that relentlessly kept coming at you like a sadistic rude Goldberg machine. The list goes on. As well as being clever, they almost never misfire. When you least expect it, she strikes. No escape. No time to relax. By the looks of it, this eraser is normal. Or anything in it. No, no rocks or anything in it. I took a pretty heavy hit from the blackboard eraser loaded with rocks on my first day. Ugh, sorry, get some. So then why don't you just open the door and let it drop? Ah. Sheesh. Blow my nose again. Uh That's what it is. That's what Satoko was after. Making me focus my attention upward. So as I lifted my hand to the door, there are thumbtacks stuck to the sliding door handle with tape. A frightening trap. A potent and terrifying trap. Concealed by using the blackboard eraser. An impressive combination of Satsuko. But in the end, nothing more than the trivial machinations, machin the trivial machinations of a child. One take, Drake. Assured of my victory, I threw the door open and stepped into the room. I felt something strange at my ankle. It was, it was similar to the sensation of a jump rope catching on my leg. <laughs> By the time I realized that she had me, hook, line, and sinker, it was already too late. I began to fall in an almost picturesque manner. Kei-chan, watch out! Instinctively, reacting to Mion's shrill warning, I twist my body in midair before landing on the floor. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. An ink stone built to the brim was placed right next to where I would at. Was placed right where I would have landed. Need to breathe a little bit slower. <clears throat> I shuddered, imagining the situation had I landed square on it. Is this her? No, she's a little fucking devil. My my, what do we have here? A fair morning to you, Keiichi san. Aren't we a lively one this morning? Those brought in an awkward position. I was greeted by a mocking voice. That was a step up from her usual trap, Satoko. I haven't the faintest idea what you mean. Hmm. <laughs> You're quite unlucky this morning. You little... Oh, oh, oh. It seemed I'd inadvertently sprained my back a little while I landed. But can I fucking sue? Oh, sheesh. Better than landing on the inkstone. <laughs> a small hand gently rubbed my head. Pain, pain, go away. Small, dainty hand continued to gently stroke my head. You didn't sprain your back or anything, did you? If you rub it like this, the pain disappears. 
I thought about asking how rubbing my head would haunt my back, but I didn't. It's not so much about what you actually do, it's the thought that counts. She seemed nice. Y yeah. Thanks, Rika chan. The pain's going away now. Yay, Rika chan. Good morning. Good morning to you, Reina. Yeah, I could tell they're best friends. Very similar personalities. <clears throat> Good morning to all. Rika chan greeted us, each of us, with an adorable little bow. It was infectious. Rihanna, Mion, and I all bowed back. What about the little twerp? You're such a good kid, Rika-chan. So much better than Satoko. I glared over in her direction. Satoko was whistling while I rather deliberately trying to avoid eye contact. I am the very model of a good girl. A good girl wouldn't set those nasty traps. Nothing but lies and slander. Exactly what proof? Whoa. <laughs> Picks up Satsuko by the back of her collar. Looks like a misbehaved cat when I do this. My cat wouldn't be setting traps. I don't know if, I mean, if the cat had thumbs. I wouldn't put it past a cat to do that. She's much harder to deal with. I'm sorry. Try saying that. If you won't say it, I cocked my index finger on my thumb, letting it tremble as I brought it closer to Satsuko's forehead. I cocked my thumb. I'm against violence. You don't even have any proof. Just so you know, my forehead flick really hurts. It can split plywood right in half. Eek! Sorry, I don't have a, a good screech. <laughs> Stop! Get away from me, you beast! You animal! Don't say that in a way people will misunderstand. A small hand tugged on the back of my shirt. She's been lonely since you were gone for two days. Eureka Chana really is just so. How can I do anything more? At, how could I do anything more after being told that? <laughs> I gently released my grip on Saktika, who at this point was on the verge of tears. She still had her eye clamped shut as she braced herself for the forehead click. It doesn't bother me. One. You mustn't cry, Satoko. Keep on fighting. Yeah. Rika gently petted the head of her prankster friend. You would never guess these two are the same age. Actually, I could, honestly. Just by looking at them. Yeah, that's early 2000s anime for you. I think Satoko could learn a thing or a million from Rika chan. Next time, send an even more Ming Strap. <laughs> uh, sheesh. Uh, or don't. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a cute face. As she observed the scene, Raina's expression grew ecstatic as she began to swoon. How oh, Satika Chan is crying. She's still cute. Can't take them home. Phew, but but they're so cute. They're so cute. You can't, no matter how cute they are. How do you pronounce that? Cute? Cute? I don't know. But just for a bit, it's fine. It's fine. Rina kept a cutesy face, even as outrageous ideas spewed from her mouth. According to Mion, Rina is ridiculously weak to cute things and always tries to take them home. Object or person. 
Stealing is bad, but abducting people is worse. Probably not gonna play factor later. Give it up. Then I can just look. Just looking. That should be fine, right? Right? Rana swooned over Satko's crying form. If a girl ever goes missing in Hinamizawa, I'll be first to turn Rana into the authorities. Forgive me, Rana. I'll be sure to bring you care packages when they put you away. That's my nice one. The teacher's coming. Quickly, clean everything up. Satsuko, that inkstone is yours, right? Just from Mion's single statement, the entire move of their room shifted back to normal. The inkstone was bad, but the thumbtacks stuck to the door handle were an even bigger problem. I pulled the tape off carefully, making sure not to skewer myself. <clears throat> even though Satsuko was the one who set it up, everyone had to pick up after her. Fucking bitch, no. <laughs> By the time the teacher entered the room, the bedlam from before had neatly tidied up. Aha, uh -huh. we made it in time. Rise, attention. Mion gave out the morning commands. Alright. I'm having a pretty good day so far. Nothing extremely dangerous or deadly has happened yet, but, you know, maybe give it some time. Some nice little build up going on. Uh, it's difficult being the teacher for all these different grades in one classroom. She has to teach something different to each one. But naturally, she spend, she ends up spending all her time with the younger kids. <laughs> Rina and Mion, being the highest grade in class, ended up mostly doing self-study. Okay, so it's like all different grades, too. They even ended up helping teaching the other kids. So it seems that they can so it seems like they can never get to their own studies. They're actually way behind where my studies have progressed too. As a result, I'm pretty much taking over for the teacher and helping Rana and Mion with their studies. <laughs> You're a pretty good teacher, Kei Chun. Keichi Kun. Easy to understand. Rana took a breather after finishing highlighting an important section. Teaching is making me lose confidence. It makes me aware of how shallow my understanding of the subject is. <sighs> I feel that, man. To say that to teach someone something, you need to understand it backwards and forwards. So while you're teaching us, you're getting it in your own practice. Very wise. In contrast, this person is over here is quite laissez-faire about things. Quite la di da. Alright. For one, isn't she supposed to be in a higher grade than me? Look, Mion. This is for your own good. If you don't take this seriously, there will be a trouble on with these marks. It's not like I'm aiming to go to prestigious school or whatever. I'll be fine as long as I pick up what I need to know for the entrance exams a little at a time. Her staunch defiance was really something else. <clears throat> this was a different type of relax than somebody who already knew what was going to be on the entrance exams. <laughs> Mi-chan, Keiichi-kun is doing his best to teach us. We need to try hard too. You're such a good and honest kid, Reyna. I'll make sure you guys get accepted into a good school. You know what I feel like? I feel like the tutor from uh, Quintessential Quintuplets. But what? Th thanks so much. Especially you, Reyna. Especially you. Especially you, know. Okay. <laughs> Private lessons. Just the two of us. Oh. Okay. Alright. But... <laughs> Private? 
Lessons. Pop of smoke shaped like a halo piped off her penis head. Exactly what kind of private lesson is she fantasizing about that's making her turn so red? I don't know, dude. Take a hint. I'd like to hear the play by play about that next time. Alright, so this protagonist is a little dense. While Mion was slipping through her vocabulary flashcards, she threw out the, a casual question. So, in the city, do you have to study this much? If you don't know at least this much, you can't get into university. Ugh, shit. So you study just to get into a university? Well, yeah, basically. While knowing that stuff won't ever come in handy in the future. Mm. Out here, you can get into university as long as your attendance is good enough. Or community college? But really? Study equals entrance exams. I went to community college, by the way, so, you know, no judge. No judgment. Having that basic law of the universe is so easily overturned, set me to a state of shock. <laughs> that is right. There aren't really enough people around here who weren't weeding them out with an exam. If anyone can get to a university, then there's no need to be all tight about this stuff, right? I got a fair point. Well, that's true. You should at least know stuff that's common knowledge. This old geezer thinks that, instead of wasting time studying pointlessly, you should be spending your precious teen years doing more meaningful things. It was too profound of a statement to simply laugh off. It is true. Wish I listened to that statement. When I was a kid. The since it's me on, I probably didn't actually have the deep of a meaning. Uh, ding, 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 ding. In place of a chime, the sound of the principal waving a handbell drifted through the classroom. Okay, Chan, we're done. We're done. It's our wonderful lunchtime. In a complete 180 from her unmotivated state, Mion gave the commands that signaled the end of the morning period. Cake, okay, Chakun, let's have lunch, Star. I might have been making a very troubled face. Raina smiling brightly at me. All right, let's eat. And so we eat. Ugh, a lot of setup. I ain't better though. Side of this chapter one, so there seem to be different clicks, even within the class. Most of them were divided up by gender and age, but our group was different. Our ages were different, and we had both boys and girls. But we weren't reserved around each other. This level of openness makes a transfer student like me pretty happy. Reyna and Mion pushed their desk together so they were facing each other. <laughs> At the same time, Satoko and Rika-chan were slowly lugging their desk over as well. Mm. Keiji kun, hurry, hurry. Rena waved her chopsticks in an unrefined manner, trying to hurry me along. Lest everyone was together, they wouldn't even open their lunch boxes. <laughs> Keiji san's lunch boxes most assuredly filled with nothing but bread crust, like some sort of destitute plebeian. Who the fuck are you, bro? Yo. Get away from me. I don't you just show it to us. Come now. Even though Satsuko was hurling insults at me, she wouldn't she still wouldn't open the lid to her lunchbox until I was there. I pulled out my lunchbox swiftly and dragged my chair over to join the circle. <clears throat> hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Well then, representative me. Please give the signal to start. At first, this was kind of embarrassing, but I got used to it pretty fast. Takimasu. At this point, I probably wouldn't even open my own lunchbox if someone else was too slow. Our ages and genders may have been all different, but we were all friends. 
friendship together. <clears throat> Let's eat. The sound of our little five-part chorus echoed beautifully throughout the classroom. It was Otaki Masu. Okay, yeah. That's five parts. <laughs> really though, I've gotten pretty used to it. I've gotten pretty used to this group made up of all girls. Of course, there are other boys in the class, but they were a lot younger, so they were scared to approach me. So, you know, I'm the I'm the giga chad in this uh, group of toddlers. Well, that's to be expected. <laughs> younger boys just see older boys as scary. Compare that to girls. Well, at least these girls aren't picky. <laughs> we put all these side dishes in the middle where everybody was free to pick at them. I thought girls would mind sharing a meal with a guy, <laughs> so I was a bit flustered joining them. However, Mion noticed that and teased me quite a bit. As a fruit of my efforts, I can. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to skip that by accident. Well, <laughs> my, my, isn't Sir Kichi's lunch extravagant today? My, my, is it Madame Satoko's lunch extravagant as well? The stew stuff has a nice look to it, but rather trendy upon the sophisticated part. Oh, tot, 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 tot. <laughs> Buying into the fight that said Kato was starting. Our chopsticks locked into a cross counter, stabbing into each other's lunches. My, how delicious. Oh, this taro is good. The stew stuff is good too, even cold. After seeing my happy face, Rika Chan's expression broke into a little smile. I saved some dinner from last night. By the way, Satsuko and Rika-chan's lunches are always the same. It seems that Rika-chan makes it both. Uh, it seems that Rika's Rika-chan makes it for both of them every day. Rika-chan made this too. These taste like mom's home cooking. I was honestly impressed. The carrot rosettes were from the mold. They were done by hand, with a knife. It's not easy to do. Yeah, it probably is. I guess Rika Chan's just as good at this sort of thing. She's really good at sewing, laundry, stuff like that. Amazing, right? Amazing. So good. Rika is quite exceptional in many ways. Oh, ho, 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 ho. need to get like a, a monocle for my uh, cat do whenever she comes on. That's nothing for you to boast about. <laughs> Rina's actually better at cooking than I am. Huh? Uh, well, you know, Star. <laughs> it seems that the topic of conversation switched to Rina when she wasn't expecting it, making her blush and trip over her words. Rina's lunch really, really was the star of the table. Not only did it look good, it tasted good too. Gordon Ramsay approved. Everyone else pulled from Arena's lunchbox constantly. Damn. <laughs> Everyone liked this one so much before, so I mean a lot this time. It's good, I hope. I hope. It's got higher marks from me. Amion, you're taking too much. Yeah, she's gonna have no food left. Knocking me on chopsticks aside, I reached out, trying to secure my own portion. Satsuko and Rika chan reached over at the same time and struggled ensued. Everyone shoved shoveled in mouthful after mouthful while praising it. Everyone's bunch was soon empty. Uh F F for uh, Reina's lunch. F for Reina. It was known, it was kind of bad that no one thought to leave any for Reyna. That fucking greedy assholes. But Reyna seemed rather satisfied as she looked one. It yeah, doesn't eat, she's a breatharian. How do you like it? Isn't Reyna san an extremely good cook too? Quite different from Keiichi san. I said that's nothing for you to boast about. 
You're not much different from Kei-chan, Satsuko. Can you tell the difference between broccoli and cauliflower yet? Satsuko's face went pale. Okay. Oh, okay. Even, hey, hey, even though I can tell the difference between broccoli and cauliflower, you know. Of course I can. I, I really can. It's really hard for her to fly. Kei-chikun. Both taste good when they're boiling on top with mayo, right? Ugh, I don't know about all that. You shouldn't be picking on her. Michan too. We and her and Charlie to follow up, but Mion laughed haughtily as she drew closer to Satoko. <laughs> mm. Well, well, just pretend it's a little home ec lesson. Now then, Satoko, what's this? Mion lifted up her chopsticks. Between them was a piece of green stuff wrapped in bacon. If I were to guess, probably Brussels sprouts. That's a sparrow. Oh god. Man made eye contact with me. If in three point three seconds, I had Rika Chan's mouth covered. Pulling a piece of bacon wrapped asparagus and giving her two choices. She's pretty terrible. <laughs> um, well, uh... Yellow one is cauliflower. No, wait. The green one is cauliflower. So, which? Mmm... Probably the yellow one is broccoli and the blue one is cauliflower. But the green one is, uh... Well... Uh, do you really know which is which? How about you just give up? I expect no less from the class representative. The oldest. The way she drives people into a corner just shows how much experience she has. This is just a hunch, but being brought into the Sonozaki household must be quite the ordeal. I do know. I really do. Then answer the question. I know, I know. She finally broke down and started crying. Yeah, she kind of deserved it. When she acts like this, she actually starts to see her age. Uh, I oh, cute. Rena entered a state of euphoria as Satsuko bawled her eyes out. Rena was in a state of bliss as she rubbed her cheek against Satsuko's head and smothered her. Really, a very content face. <laughs> One that wouldn't take care if the world ended right then. It was that kind of smile. Hm. Reina, Reina. Mimi's picking on me. Ooh, uh. Cute, cute. It's okay. Reina Onichan will take care of all those bad people who tease my little sister. Oh shit. Oh, okay, fuck. No response stuck in that. Whoosh! Boom bat! Hit pop pop! It was like a flash of lightning. What? What was that? Just now. Both of Rana Smith shot out at supersonic speeds, striking Mion and me squarely in our faces. Before we knew it, Mion and I were sprawled spread equal on the floor, staring up at the ceiling with matching welts on our faces. This is the first time you've gotten one, right? Today, she went easy on us. Easy? You mean something harder than this? With that, Mion, Mion and I both slumped our heads back to the floor in unison. From now on, I'll be careful when I'm within striking distance of Mion or Reyna. See, Satoko-chan, I took care of them. Mmm, cute. I want to take you home. Making sure Reina couldn't see it, Satsuko stuck her tongue out at us. Tsk. Damn it all, using Reina like a puppet. Rika-chan Rika massaged our bruises without saying a word. Yeah, Rika-chan's a fucking goat. She's a real giga-chan in this story. Yeah.
Ugh. No matter what the day had held, the last school bell always came too soon. I wish I had that problem. Our shadows stretched off into the distance. Hey, Keijikun, tomorrow, do you have plans or anything? Or anything? Huh? It was such a direct question from Reina, I inadvertently blushed. If, if it was for a date, then wouldn't you do it more subtly? Reina saw me lost for words, and I realized that I'd misunderstood and turned red as well. Uh, uh no. I, I didn't mean it like that. You see. So apparently that wasn't what she meant. But she's but since it's always having fun, but yeah, but since it's always fun when Rena's in a panic, I went along with it a little. Oh really? So it wasn't meant that way. Huh? Huh? Playing it up, I slumped my shoulders, feigning dejection. Cage gun. Why are you so disappointed? Why? Michan. Ah, 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 ah. Unable to hold it in any longer, Mion slapped me on the back. Good job, kid. I see. This old geezer never knew you could push your buttons like that. Wah ha ha ha. Uh huh. What? What? What is it? Mion was rolling on the floor, clutching her stomach while Rina flailed around, completely bewildered. I couldn't help but start laughing as well, feeling just a bit guilty. I ruffled Rina's hair. Kidding. Sorry, it was a joke. That was my fault. She really is a cute one. Uh huh. A joke. Since when? Since when? Uh, about halfway through. <laughs> halfway? So, Keichan, that means you weren't acting when you blushed at the start? Fucking exposed. Exposed in 4K. Uh huh. That means. It was only momentary last, but there was no way Mion would let such a del delectable detail slip by her. Greasy slimy paws. Oh uh, well, you see. Saying anything more was also a bad idea. In my bewildered state, I slipped clear into an unfavorable position. After that, Mia continued to it continued to tease me about it for a while. <clears throat> so, why are you asking if I'm free tomorrow, Rena? Huh? Oh, what were we talking about? <laughs> it had been so long that Rina had forgotten. That's how long Mina, Mian had teased me. It's just Keichan. You probably can't find your way around Hinam Hinamizawa by yourself yet, can you? That was true. I hate to say it, but if you blindfold me and spun me around three times like we were playing pin the tail on a donkey, we wouldn't be able to talk up from down here. Yeah, I don't think I know how to get anywhere besides back and forth from school. Yeah, so you see, tomorrow, we were thinking that Michan and I could escort you through Hinamizawa and show you around. That would be a godsend. Frankly, I was happy about that offer. Wink. Well, come, of course, right? If I'm free. You're being invited by a girl, you know. But sure, no. If I'm free, how about that? You're probably free anyways. If I'm free, free at last, free at last, God almighty, free at last. If though, I was being stubborn so as not to give her a clear yes or no. No, playing hard to get. Even though I thought it was a godsend, I'm too much of a scamp to say so up front. Man. Okay, John, you're not free, perhaps. Perhaps. That's nice that little, uh, doodle above her head. While Mian and I had our rather sour back and forth, Reyna peeked over at me hesitantly. 
Figuring I've been a bit too rough on her. I just gave in. Sorry, forgive me. I apologize. I'm free. Great. The trepidation disappeared from Raina's face as I blossomed into a smile. Hey now. Hey now. Seems like there's quite a difference between how cold you are to me compared to Raina, isn't there? It seems Mion didn't care for how rude I was to her, compared to how quickly I agreed with Raina. But her being annoyed was very interesting. Alright, she's got a nice little, a new teaser. So I pushed Raina forward, speeding up our pace to leave Mion behind. Let's go, Raina. Maybe it should just be the two of us tomorrow, leaving grumpy old Mion behind. Huh? Whoa. If k Chakun is okay with that, then I'm the one who came up with the idea to take him around. Don't ignore me, Keichi, Keichi Mabara. It'd be great if the two of us could just go on a picnic together. Should we bring a basket, Reyna? If we bring a basket, uh, I'll make all the food. M maybe. Maybe. Don't you ignore me too, Reyna. I'll tell everyone that you two disappeared into a hotel district together. Oh, shit. <laughs> kind of. Kind of deserved. Well, then, I'm going home right now to <laughs> start making it. Didn't learn a lesson, man. She got those hands, bro. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be so fun. Later, Kichi kun Michan, bye. Reyna bounded off like she was walking on the moon. After the dust settled, all that was left was me standing next to Mion sprawled out on the ground. There was a welt on her face. <laughs> Are you alright? There were over two meters between you guys. S since you came, they've become sharper. This old geezer's body can't handle it. But she's calling herself the old geezer. How old is she? Like, what, 16? 17? Maybe it'd be easier if you stop saying stuff that makes Rana want to hit you. Or else this will be, end up being me on a slapstick comedy hour. Kind of already is. <clears throat> if that happened, the results might be fatal. It also might be hilarious. You don't know. <laughs> don't feel bad, Mion. Probably the only one who can dodge her jabs. I felt like it was her knee, though. Could it be that we're hanging around with an unrivaled martial arts master? <laughs> Sounds like it. Maybe someday we'll see her debut in extreme contact sport. A contact sport where Joe Rogan announces and Dana White is the commissioner. You can't lose to Reyna. You need to train up and have a rematch. K-Chan, you should. This old geezer will root for you. Mion and I reaffirmed our determination to discover a way to counter Rina's infallible technique. <laughs> Commercial break. <clears throat> I'm enjoying this so far. You have received new tips. We're mixed grade. We don't have a uniform. What? Okay, interesting. Uh, tips? Should I just go without tips? Huh. You know what? Let's view the tips. That's a good tip. Okay. Um, hmm. Yes, mixed grade uh, uniform. Talk about the mixed grade stuff earlier. I'm trying to think. This isn't going back. Well, let me just click one. So, Rena, we're the same age. Yep, that's right. We're the same Zodiac animal, too. Uh, okay. 
Should probably just give information on the uh, person. Hey now, wouldn't it be weird if we were the same age but not the same zodiac animal? That's not true. If your birthday isn't the same, then you can have different animals even if you're the same age. Uh, sorry, got another text. Uh, sorry about that. Huh? Oh, I see. Uh, sheesh. My freaking phone is like not working. Give me a, give me a keyboard. Oh, I see. Mion, you're pretty smart. Uh, haha. <laughs> What month were you born, by the way, Keichakun? Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> I'm July. Rina smirked and puffed up her pride. Hey now, what's the meaning of this? She's not planning to be all high and mighty if her birthday is a wee bit sooner as much. Is she? Heh. <laughs> Don't even. It's impossible to challenge me by birthday. I wouldn't even mind you if you bet a dollar per month. Huh? Huh? W why? Why? Ran a panic at suddenly being challenged to a wager. Given how panicked she is, I'm certain she doesn't have much allowance left this month. Oh, poor baby. It's just sending her into a panic about something isn't as simple as a birthday as that. Uh, isn't. Jeez, I'm getting cross-eyed. Sending her into a panic about something as simple as a birthday is so fun. I can't help it. So that means you were born in April, Kei-chan. Right on, baby. Uh, Too bad, Reyna. I'm already far older than Reyna. Oh, I see. Then you're the same age as Michan. Well, it's just a few months. That gap will open up again soon enough. Mion snickered through her nose. Hey, now, that's not something to get all high and mighty about. It's if I'm the one to talk. Heh. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're in a higher grade, right, Mion? If you're into underclassmen, then I can be an underclassman from now on. Michan, not making any sense to me. Just by seeing Reyna's blushing face, you could tell she knew exactly what she meant by it, though. Then, Satsuko and Rika-chan are underclassmen. The grade is so different that they should be in a different school, shouldn't they? Keichikun, your tastes are a bit too young, I think. The FBI might be showing up relatively soon. I think... You're not making any sense yourself, Reyna. I just grab onto her head and scruff it up a bit. That always has a trick. Yo, stop it. <laughs> I wondered about it before. Yeah. I was wondering why the school had different school years all mixed up. Hmm. There aren't enough classrooms. Can't help it. Spilling's being rented from the forest she services, after all. When she says it like that, it makes sense. I thought our school was strange for a while now. The schoolyard is gravel. There are rooms that aren't for classes. And there's some strange stored construction machinery parts here. Why is it being borrowed? What happened to the real school? There was one here forever from before the war. It got dilapidated. They close it down. It probably was a grand old schoolhouse. Well, because of that, the students would have to attend school through the city. That's pretty far, you know. <clears throat> Which school would that be? Did you know there's a school if you pass by the Okinomiya train station? Turn at the hospital and head towards the pediatrics department. What? It's so far. I couldn't tell where that was the location. Same buddy. But I understood it. It was pretty far from Rain's reaction. Well, that's why. Guys, I didn't want to commute to Okinawa. I rented out the building for the forestry services. 
Hope you're enjoying this so far. I'm gonna head out. All right, Light. Take care, man. It might be ending a bit soon, too. Probably when I finish this tip. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. See, it's like a lot of build up. Have a good stream. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. About half the children, Hinam and Amizawa, go here. There are quite a lot of kids that come here on a bike. Well, since they're attending this really messed up school, it might be pretty hard for them to get into a higher education. That's not true, Michan. If you study properly, you can go anywhere you want. Anywhere in the world. Yep, that's right, that's right. I totally agree with Rihanna on this one. Yes, that's right. That's right. Let's try our best. That's right. Hey guys, that's right. That's pretty right. <laughs> All of you, try your best. This old man will be rooting for you. You're not a dude though. Not just us, you too. You should be preparing for the exam, shouldn't you? The future is bleak with grades like this. Fine, just fine. If I get stuck, then I'll just mooch off Keichan as he works forever. Well, well, what do you mean by work forever? What do you mean? What you talking about? Hey, you're too loud. Be quiet during self-study. Grr. The teacher yelled at all three of us. It was completely our fault. Satsuka saw and chortled haughtily. I stuck out my tongue at her in response. It's just as Beyond says, the school has nothing to do with higher education, but makes up for that by having lots of valuable things other schools don't. All right. Uh, I could just save it here, right? Mixed grade, don't have uniform, all right. Uh, save it right here. And I'll go back to the other tip later if I'm reminded to. Um, but, oh, shish, all right, that was it. 97 minutes for one chapter. This is going to be a long one. Jeez, there's like multiple pages, too. Yikes, all right. I mean, I'm kind of excited, though. I mean, Shows me massive freaking game. <laughs> Oof, All right. Um, thank you so much, y'all, for stopping by. Uh, I think I should be good if I just exit, right? I should be good. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by. I will see you next time. Shakeage. What's a uh, chickage? A uh, good night. Oh. Good night, mate. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Take care, man.